TikTok has taken a lot of things away from me, and I'm sure you can relate. Just take a look at my attention span, and my brain, and your pants, and my eyes. As if I'm not already seeing 140p without my glasses, TikTok has generously decided that it will help me accelerate my blindness, because what is this? And why do I keep seeing more of it? Now, I know what you're thinking. Jen, but TikTok has an algorithm, so you're only seeing more of these things because you, you interacted with them, meaning that you must have watched through all of them and even liked them. Um, first, chill. Second, yeah, I like them. So what? Say it to my face. Say it to my face, Eva. Pro I don't know when it was that the true aftermath of the Great Depression washed over us and TikTok transformed from an app where everyone was dancing jovially and doing these exquisite POVs to an app where it feels like I could pepper spray my eyes for 30 seconds straight. No, I can even shove it up my nose and spray it down my lungs and I would still be exposed to less spice than whatever the hell people think is acceptable to share online these days. Guys, I'm just going to give you a warning. Please prepare for the worst in three, two, one. Anita! Anita! Sometimes I pray to our god George washing machine that heaven is not real because I cannot imagine how furious our ancestors would be if they had to fight really hard just to develop some thumbs and speech for us. And this is how we're putting that to use. A better way to use our thumbs and speech would be to pull out our phones and call 911 because you don't even have to be a farmer to know that this is a very, very ripe field of PDF files. If you pan the camera down to the audience, I swear all of them just look like this. I feel kind of bad for this girl because out of all the female contestants, she tried her best. You know, she didn't export her PDF file. And this is the reaction she gets. Anyway, I found another... You know, I'm not saying that. Competition that was more recent. So I'm going to do a raw and deep and fast reaction. I'm going to react to it right now. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give you guys another warning. Please prepare for imminent nuclear attack. Brother, ugh. what's that? What's that, brother? Okay, technically they didn't post it on TikTok themselves, but I had to include it because doing all that in public in an area meant for children has to be a war crime. I can't eat, I, like, I feel overstimulated. This feels like a biology diagram with 10 different parts that I need to label, but the diagram just looks like this. Number one exhibit. What is this? Number two exhibit. Where did God go and why is he not letting go? Number three exhibit. I want my mom. Number four. Why am I suddenly blind? After that catastrophe, you're probably thinking that you should go outside to get some fresh air. Okay, well I present to you this.
Isn't this that one episode of My Strange Addiction? You know, the only plausible explanation for whatever just transpired in this TikTok has to be schizophrenia. Who does this with a stranger? How do you go from slapping the air to trying to impregnate a transportation vehicle? I can't drive, but if I was waiting for a red light and someone started humping their vehicle while staring at me, I think I would try to crash into everyone in the intersection. No one is leaving alive. How about you? Drop the attitude before I make it drip out of you. Watch me one-up the freakiness of this TikTok. How about you? Drop your soul before I drop mine. <sighs> How about you? Drop the plus four before I flip this fucking table over. <sighs> I like to think outside the box, so I'm guessing once they uh, they wrapped up filming, everyone clapped and they patted each other on the back, like the girl stood up and then dusted herself off, and the man patted her and said, "Yeah, that was a good shot. You have a you have a talent for crawling backwards." And then she was like, "Thanks." With this experience in acting in freaky, in freaky films, I'm going to apply to a hundred shades of gray now, and they lived happily ever after. The end. You might not believe it, but there's something even more freaky than this 18 plus spicy adult uh, film practice. I'm talking about it being so freaky that I'm inclined to believe that I am somehow on the wrong website. Do you suffer from a lack of a father figure? Do you have clinical depression? Have you ever accidentally broken your mom's- Um, so yeah, I'm going to need climate change to hurry up. I'm gonna need the aliens to visit and brainwash all of us right now. We are legit so doomed when this is the type of content that gets basically a gazillion likes and views. Like genuinely, how does any sane person come up with this idea unless their MRI comes back and leaves neurologists stumps because all of their brain mass is missing and it's just this left. To make it even worse, I didn't know it could become worse. This jorking thing became a trend, so literally everyone was doing it, which was, you know, really nice. Motivation for me to get my eyes lasered off. This trend not over till I get to do it. This trend ain't over till I do it. This trend don't end till I do it. This trend is over until I do it. Yeah, green aura with flies and landfills in the background. This, this isn't a want, this is a need. If I told these people that I'm grinding finance so I can start trading, they'll probably think finance is a man. Hey buddy, I'm not trying to embarrass you. I just want you to know that it's pretty smelly over here. Cansada de ver y no tocar. You know, with my three years of Spanish, I think this means tired of watching and not playing. And the playing is like the playing in guitar and, and like playing the guitar or something. And my teacher must be so proud that I'm finally using Spanish in the real world. <laughs> I'm gonna bl- um, what the flip, man? I don't understand why people are hating. Just just say you're freaky and you accept freaky bot pay. Can you guys imagine if this shit was like replaced by grass? Then these TikToks would have negative 10k views and the comments would just be full of Russian Boombaya bots. Okay, after all of that, now we're going to take a quick breather and a quick jug jug and watch something a, li a little uh. tiny bit less freaky. Who is mommy's good boy? <laughs> it's me. I can't hear you. Who's mommy's good boy? Me, mommy. I'm your puppy twin boy toy. You're such a good boy. You want a reward? Yes, mommy. Come to my place. I need you to give me $100. This feels like a fever dream. What is this guy wearing? Is, is this suspenders or a giant ass shit draped across his body? And I'm no Albert Einstein. Surprising, I know, but I don't think making someone give you $100 is reward for them. If I had to guess, I'm going to say that the budget for this TikTok was half a working brain and a vision. And whether or not this vision was achieved, I can't exactly say. What I can say is that my vision is definitely gone. I need you to give me $100. Yes, mommy. <laughs> Good boy, now why don't we go to the secret chamber and do the funny wrestling? Yes, queen. I want to do the funny wrestling so badly. I will keep being your trophy himbo puppy twink male white boy toy. A really tough watch? 
I almost didn't make it. Whew. I know you don't probably need this, but I think you should buy this spray because it's lavender. Do you need that for your car? I don't even know what that is. Tiring trim dressing? It's I, purple. I mean, my car is also not a salad, so I don't know why I need dressing on it. Oh my god. Spray it on you. I know you're not salad, but I still want you in my mouth. Okay, I'm down for that. What does this even mean? I'm going to need some uh, English majors to explain this to me. Which like which rhetorical device is this and what is the intended effect because there is no reason why i should be bricked the hell up right now please don't okay what are you doing oh that's playing an arrow cupid. Playing <gasps> cupid. i'm already in love with you oh that's good I'll shoot you with an arrow anyways shoot a different type of load into me yeah <laughs> I'm gonna lie, this was the best thing I've ever watched.